Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the Villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. No offense, but I didn't think you had them on. Then, now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps, but I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murder. Even his daughter, Lucrezia, has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother to take love. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. Powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet, and the King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare, head of the Papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italy, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Ah, ma che fai, stronza! Dannazione! Vergognati! Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising.
Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. This table is now available for purchase. After you. at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal the sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city. The center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the set. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am meeting a contact there. Give me back my money! Come back here! Hey, a little respect. Get out of here before I regret sparing your life. Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us. And we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. Look 
look at these facades masquerading as government. The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friends, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely describe the reality of Roma today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the sea. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonate me, signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the Terme 